Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Guarantee RV Supercenters to show you the brand new 2020 Winnebago Revel 4x4. Now this thing set the market on its ears last year when it came out with one of the first sport oriented Sprinter camper vans. The little short wheelbase, 140 inch wheelbase, 19 and a half feet overall and extremely versatile. We're going to take a lot of uh, look around the outside in just a sec, but let me show you how cool it is inside. Now one thing you'll notice right away is that this has a great running board and that it's a really good looking rig. It's got these beautiful wheels and tires they are a lot bigger than a standard wheel and tire and it's also got more ground clearance than a typical Mercedes Sprinter does. So guys that like to go up into the rough country, go on rougher roads, don't have to worry about potholes or going into a campsite. That's the whole idea here. Now watch this. We now have a power sliding door, something people have wanted on a Sprinter for a long time. This is a great feature here. This is a table that comes down so we can set up a table outside underneath our awning and have a little camp cook area. This just snaps right into place. Come on in. Okay, now first of all, this is a brand new Mercedes. They've made a lot of changes to this and this front cabin area has a lot of features that were, no, were not available prior to this model year. So uh, the things I want you to know about in here are that first of all, we have a completely redesigned navigation and infotainment center. This does include the backup camera. It has a much upgraded navigation system and all of that kind of stuff is just the latest. In fact, it connects with your phones. It does all of the updated phone connectivity safety features that people are really into. Also, this has the new adaptations that Mercedes has made available for the cruise control that's adaptive and, and really a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a, a tremendous uh, uh, amount. We could spend a lot of time just talking about the Mercedes part of this. Also, this has new seats. They have an adjusted thigh support so we can lengthen the seat for taller people, which is great. And also, this has a power lumbar system so it can you can uh, inflate the seat back and change the position for your body. It's, just, it's really nice, especially on longer trips. So uh, the thing to know about this is people like these because there's a lot of footwell space and very comfortable and of course now they're just loaded with good new technologies. Let's take a look at the cabin. Now the idea of this is to give us a versatile living space I can use a lot of different ways. So we could take a look over here. This is a little table that comes up out of the wall and it folds out and then I can set that up. Now with these seats swiveled, we can make this a whole seating dining area. And, but it goes out of the way because I don't really need that all the time. This has also got seat belts for two extra people. So this is a good vehicle to travel in. And there's some neat things to look at here. See these little, these little aluminum slots here? These are connector places. I wonder how I did that. Oh, I said. <laughs> This is the, this is the, uh, um, there's features you can adapt it with the T-bar. You can put a phone holder or a cup holder or all kinds of little gadgets and they're all over this rig. So you can sort of customize it to do the things that you like to do. Uh, I have a, a, a fishing kayak and I use the same kind of connectors to put fishing pole holders. They, they're great. You can do a lot of cool things with them. So we have a galley here in this galley has an induction cooker and the induction cooker is really neat because no open flames in here we just use electricity for our cooking it's got a nice deep sink but it doesn't have a lot of space devoted to the galley why because we're outdoor people this is going to be used by somebody that spends most of their time outside and maybe even prefers to cook outside all right got a big exhaust fan up here so we can keep things nice it's got an all-electric refrigerator right down here with a small freezer. Now, this isn't a big fridge, but uh, this is not a camper that you're set up to go out on real extended stays and haul a lot of cargo. Remember, this is a small, nimble rig. It's also got some drawers here. That's dynamite and some overhead storage. It also has some longer storage here that we can use. And then this is one of the coolest features in here. This is the bathroom. Now look what this does. So 
in a real small RV, the question is how much space do you really want to devote to the bathroom? You make a big bathroom in a small RV, you don't get very much living space left. So what they've done is they put in what we call a cassette potty, and that's this unit down here. And that's pretty neat because it's got a removable holding tank. So if I'm in camp and I need to dump my holding tank, I can take the tank out. I don't have to move my whole camp. I can just take the tank over to the dump station. Also, these shelves that are in here, these are removable. So if I want to get in here and take a shower or use my toilet, I can do it. But most of the time I can use it for storage. I can also take them out and use them for hanging storage. And that's why this, this hanger's in here. So I can use that space so many different ways. Now I want to show you the back end, but I'm going to go outside to show you that. So let's take a look. Okay, now the back on this is really, really cool because as you can see, where's the bed? All I've got in here is I've got a tremendous amount of space. I can haul gear in here. I could take inflatables like kayaks with me. I could take scuba gear, mountain climbing gear. Whatever kind of tackle you have for your outdoor activities, you could put it in here. The bed is actually up to the ceiling right now, but with the push of a button, I can lower it down and it's definitely big enough for two adults. So I have a space back here I can use for a lot of different things. It's starting to come together for folks that they want to use these vans for more than just driving to a campground. And that's what this one does. This will also pull 5,000 pounds. It's got a tremendous tow hitch on it. It's pre-wired for towing and so it'll work really well for that. Another thing I want you to see is the screen system that's up here. It all zips down and what's really cool is it's got a magnet strip here so when I want to go in and out of here I can just pull it aside and when I let go it just connects itself back up with a magnet. We've actually got that for the cargo door too, both sides. Now, let's see here. Hard to miss the ladder. The ladder and the roof rack on a Revel are one of the things that make it unique to the entire industry. This thing is great because now I've got a roof rack I can put kayaks on, I can put cargo storage on, I can tie anything I want up there. I could put solar panels, it comes with some solar panels and they're removable. So we can put it up there when we want or take it off if we want to use the space in another way. This ladder is removable and I can bring it around here and I can access all the way on the top. It just hangs off this rack up here so I have the access to the full top of the roof. That is a complete uh, revolution. I've been waiting for 30 years to have a camper van that I could reasonably haul a kayak on top of and this is it. So whatever your paddle board or whatever you want, this thing is going to work great for that. So just as we walk around and look at it, we're looking at a really small, nimble, highly economical, extremely versatile, fun buggy that I can stay in and camp, travel all that I want. Um, it's, it's a magnificent kind of a rig. We couldn't keep them on the ground last year. These are the very first ones. I've got two right now. These are the very first ones we've had for the new model year. I, I'm very, very excited about them. I hope you want to know more about this rig. Uh, if, you, if you want, give me a call. I'll talk to you about it, or even I'd love to show it to you in person. I mean, my name's Matt Elliott, so you could reach me at 541-954-8495. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.